Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador at the University of Technology Jamaica. And I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a January 2017 past paper question in the CSEC Mathematics all right, examination. And we're focusing on section four, which is measurement. So the question says that the diagram below shows a square ABCD drawn inside a circle. The vertices of the square lie on the circumference of the circle. All right. The length of a square of the length of a side of the square is 11 centimeters. So here of our diagram, part one says to show that the diameter of the circle is 11 times the square root of two centimeters. And we are to calculate the area of the circle the area of the square and the area of the shaded region. All right, so let's get into the question. So here we have a circle, all right, and a square. The square is inscribed into the circle, right? When I say inscribed, it just means that it fits into the circle neatly, all right? And we are to show that the diameter of the circle is 11 times the square root of two. Now the diameter here is basically this, dotted line that you see running across, all right? That is the diameter of the circle. I'm going to call it D, all right? So I'm gonna call it D, all right? So let's find the diameter. So let me come down here now and write our solution. So part one, solution. Okay. So let us observe the diagram. So if you recognize, we have a triangle here. All right, we have a triangle here. A, C, B, that's a right angle triangle. All right, so let me write it here. Let me write it down here for you. So this is the triangle that we have. All right, this is the triangle that we have. Okay, I'm gonna have another line across, which is the hypotenuse. And I'm going to have another line here. Good. And this is a right angled triangle. Right, so this is the value D, right? That's a diameter. And if you refer back to the diagram, this would be A, C, all right, and B, good. So this is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the value of D, okay? And the question said that the length of a side of the square is 11 centimeters. Let's, let's just highlight that. So the length of a side of the square is 11 centimeters, all right? So what does that mean? It means that right here we would have 11 centimeters. This side is 11 centimeters, right? So if you remember the properties of the square, it says that the opposite sides are equal and parallel, right? So that side is 11 centimeters. This side, which is opposite, would be 11 centimeters, all right? This side here would also be 11 centimeters, and this side here would also be 11 centimeters. Good. So let's just go back to our triangle here. So it means that this side AB would be 11 centimeters, and BC would also be 11 centimeters. We're trying to find the value of D. Okay, we're trying to find the value of D. Now, we can find the value of D by using Pythagoras' theorem, okay? Which says that the square of the hypotenuse, that's D squared, is equal to the square of the sum of the other two sides. So that is going to be equal to the other side, BC squared, all right, plus AB squared plus BC squared, right? Those are the other two sides. And we're squaring them and then we're adding them together. 
So this is going to be equal to a b all squared, which is 11. All right, that's going to be 11 squared. Let me just write that better for you. So 11 squared plus bc squared. bc is also 11 centimeters. So that's going to be 11 squared. All right, that's what we have. And that is equal to d squared. So d squared is now equal to 11 squared is 121 plus 121, all right? d squared is now equal to 121 plus 121 is 242, okay? That is what we have. Now, to find the value of d, I will have to take the square root of both sides of the equation, okay? So if I take the square root of d squared, I will get d is equal to the square root of 242, all right? So that's going to be a plus or a minus. All right, remember when we take the square root of a number, it is plus or minus the square root of 242. Okay, now remember that we're trying to show that the Diameter D is equal to 11 times the square root of 2. That is our aim. Now, let me just write a note here for you. All right, so note. The 242 can be written as 121 multiplied by 2. All right, now you're going to see the reason why I said that in a moment. So let us now look at it. So 242 is equal to 121 multiplied by 2. So I'm going to replace, I'm going to replace the 242 here as 121 multiplied by 2. Okay? That's what I'm going to do here now. So D is equal to plus or minus the square root of 121 multiplied by 2. All right. Now, there's another rule that I'll be using here, which says that if I have two numbers A and B, and I take the square root of it, all right? Let's say I have two numbers A and B, and I'm taking the square root of it. That is equal to the square root of A multiplied by the square root of B, all right? That is a fact. So with that being said, D is now going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of the first number, 121, multiplied by the square root of the second number, which is two. All right, that is what we have. So if you put in a calculator, the square root of 121, you will get 11, right? So we have plus or minus 11 and the square root of two is there as well. Remember we're multiplying by the square root of two. Good. So that is what we have. Now, remember that we're dealing with length here, right? The diameter is in centimeters, right? So we can't have a negative value. We can't have a negative value. So what we're going to do now is say, since, the diameter must be a positive value. It implies that the diameter is equal to 11 multiplied by the square root of two, all right? Because remember, initially I had said that D is equal to plus or minus the square root, all right? Because anytime you take the square root of a number, it's always going to be plus or minus the square root of that number, all right? Good. So we're dealing with length here, so there's no need for the negative in front. So D is equal to 11 times the square root of two, and that is what we were required to show. So we can now come down here and write shown. All right, shown. So we have now successfully answered the first part of the question, which is show that the diameter of the circle is 11 multiplied by the square root of two centimeters. All right, so let me just write the centimeters as our unit. Good, that is what we have. So we are now finished with the first part. 
The second part says we are to calculate the area of the circle. All right, the area of the circle. So this is part two. Part two, solution. Now recall that the area of a circle, A, is equal to pi multiplied by the square of the radius. So R squared, all right? That is what we have. Now, what is R? Now, if you remember, there's a relationship between the diameter and the radius, which says that the radius R is equal to the diameter divided by two, all right? So that is what I'll be using to find the radius. So R is going to be equal to, we had calculated the diameter here, all right, which is 11 multiplied by the square root of two. Let's just substitute that into our formula. So we have 11 multiplied by the square root of two, and we are dividing that by two. All right, so that's D divided by two, good. So now we can apply the formula for the area, all right, since we know what is R, and you should know that pi, all right, the value of pi is equal to 3.14159265358 and so on, right? It's an irrational number. That number never ends. So in case you didn't catch that, let me just write it slower for you. So pi is equal to 3.14159265358 and so on. All right? So I'm going to, I'm just going to use the pi to two decimal places, all right? That's what I'll be using for the formula. So area is going to be equal to pi, which is 3.14 multiplied by the square of the radius. Now the radius we just calculated is 11 multiplied by the square root of two, 11 multiplied by the square root of two divided by two, all right, divided by two, and we're squaring that. Good. Now, if I put that into my calculator, I will get 189.97, all right, that is my area. But remember, we have to put the units. Area is always measured in squared units, and the units that I'm dealing with here is centimeters. So the area is equal to 189.97, squared centimeters, all right, so squared centimeters, good. So area is equal to 189.97, all right? If you get something close to that value, it is also correct, okay? Because I know, I know that not every calculator will give you the same digit, okay? So we're finished with that. That's part two. Part three now says we are to calculate the area of this, the area of the square. All right, so I just calculated the area of the circle. Now we are to calculate the area of the square. So this is now going to be part three. Let me just scroll down a bit. Part three. This is part three solution. We are to find the area of the square. Now the area of a square, A, is equal to the length of one side squared, all right? Remember that all, this, all the, the length of the square, right? All the, the length of the size of a square is going to be equal, okay? So the area is going to be length squared. Now, remember we had highlighted in yellow up here that the length of a side of the square is 11 centimeters. So it means that my area A is going to be equal to 11 squared, all right? So the area is equal to 11 squared, which is 121. And remember now that my unit is squared centimeters. So 121 squared centimeters. Okay, so that is the solution for part three of this past paper question. Good, that's part three.
part four now says we are to calculate the area of the shaded region. Okay, so let me just point out that this shaded region that they are talking about here is called a segment. All right, that's a segment of the circle. Good. So it means that this part here, as I'm going to highlight in green, that part there is also a segment of a circle. This part here, all right? That part there is also a segment of the circle. And this part here is also going to be a segment of the circle. Okay, so what we have now is four segments. So in order to calculate the area of the shaded region, all right, is going to be the area of the circle minus the area of the square, all right? And we want to find the area of the segment. So, and we have four segments here. So in order to find one of them, we need to find, we need to divide um, what I said previously by four. All right, so in other words, let me just write it down for you. So part four, so part four, solution. So the year of the shaded region, the year of the shaded region is going to be equal to the area of the circle minus the area of the square. And I'm going to divide that expression. I'm dividing all of that by four, all right? We have four segments, so we're dividing by four. Okay, so 121, 121 is the area of the, the area of a square, right? 121 squared centimeters and the area of the circle is 189.97. So the area of the shaded region is the area of the circle, which is 189.97 minus the area of the square, which is 121. Now, if you had said the area of the shaded region is the area of the square, which is 121, minus the area of the circle, which is 189.97, that would be incorrect because you realize that the area of the circle, all right, the area of the circle is greater than the area of the square. So if you had subtracted those values in that order, right, the area of the square minus the area of the circle, you would have gotten a negative value. And remember that area is not negative, area is a positive value. Okay, good. So just pointing that out, which is a common error with students. So the area of the shaded region now is going to be equal to the area of the circle, which is 189.97 minus the area of the square, which is 121, and we are dividing that by four. So this is going to be equal to, now if you subtract the numbers now in the numerator, you will get 68.97, all right, 68.97, and you are dividing that by four. You are dividing that by four, so the area of the shaded region is going to be equal to 68.97 divided by four, which is going to be equal to 17.24, and that is to two decimal places, all right? Two decimal places. I believe that is how much you were to round the numbers to. Okay, for this question. So that is the end of this question. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please ensure to like this video 
share it with your friends, and also subscribe to the channel. All right, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador at the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.